Hello and welcome back everybody. Tone here, ready to continue our current Slice and Dice Unfair Classic playthrough right now. Um, we're getting pretty far into the run. We are in the final stretch after clearing the Troll King boss. Uh, pretty solid streak on the line as well. Uh, let's see where we left off curses wise. Uh, we have monster growth sides. We have monster HP, uh, monsters for every six hit points they start with base, they get an extra hit point, uh, which actually impacts a lot of guys on this floor. Um, turn one, everyone gets one armor, one shield, I should say, and then every third turn, uh, wolves get added. Here is the current squad. Uh, before we get any deeper into the run, I'll uh, get my usual plug that if you guys would like to support this channel here and my other projects, you can do so over at patreon.com slash tonehack. So feel free to give that a look if you'd like to support me and my work here. Um, but yeah, we have three tier threes here currently. Uh, I think our squad has shaped up really well here. We got some really strong items for the sorcerer, which I wouldn't have taken if we didn't have at least this to start, I don't think. So we only have the sorcerer because we had items that worked with her. <clears throat> to begin with um and the surgeon's been pretty good with this lens barbarians dishing out the damage ninjas ninjaing guardians not doing much to be honest but that's what grays tend to be like in my my uh, builds <laughs> um but yeah let's see what we have for this fight here so i want to equip the bolt i think i do not so it's pretty good on the ninja. No, not pain makes it not great there. I think I'm gonna leave the bolt off. Um, at the spell cast thing, I can't put that on there. If it was just pain and plus one or something, that'd be cool. This doesn't add any pain. This is the one that adds pain. I'm getting all mixed up on my sides here. All right, let's see what our new item is. I believe this will be a tier eight item. The tier eight items uh, and the tier nine ones can be real like game defining because you have a lot of your final party available and they have strong effects so you can find some powerful synergies and uh combos to work with your squad uh, we are offered the mirror mask and the scorpion tail the mirror mask replaces all sides with the hero above's base sides so we could i think it loops around it does so like the ninja could get the sorcerer's base sides which aren't nearly as good as her current sides it would be this setup i could turn the guardian into the barbarian but they would only have eight health which doesn't work great for them it's actually not terrible though let's do that and let them dish out eight damage and like die every turn uh, we're gonna get a good tier three eventually though um sorcerer side stays she's pretty strong Surgeon side stay. She's really strong. We don't want to turn our barbarian to the ninja. That one doesn't do much for us. I feel like it's one of the weaker items in general. Um, it doesn't have... I don't know. I don't find a lot of strong uses for it usually. I'm not a huge fan of the mirror mask. I had one really strong run, which I believe is on this my Slice and Dice playlist on the channel here somewhere, and where we got around the mundane curse, which means it turns all your mana sides into um, damage sides. We are actually able to use the mirror mask to cheat it. So I turned my orange into uh, um, an artificer and was able to use the artificer spell. It was the only way I've seen to really get mana um, with that playstyle. I mean, you can get a few, like the whisk give you mana. And some other items might give you mana in certain cases, um, but it's pretty far and few between. The mirror mask ended up being really strong on that run. I think on that run, I got it from a random or something. A Scorpion Tail gives you Weaken, which is pretty strong. I think taking Scorpion Tail and putting on Barbarian could be pretty good. It's a little awkward because it gives our Barbarian no sides that don't have pain on them. But 2 plus Weaken is really good, especially going into like the, the final boss fight. It can be very good. I think this scorpion tail is good enough to not warrant considering uh, taking a random item. Random items are really risky 
Although there is a there are a lot of really good randoms um, in the tier eight category. I think I'm pretty happy with the scorpion tail here. It's a strong item. Potentially boost that with this. But these will generally be three at the very least most of the time or higher. I like weekend. I don't know how good weekend is in this fight. I don't these guys from summoning bones or something, but they die easy. I guess it's pretty good against the cleaves here. This isn't the best example of where Weekend is good, and I almost don't want to equip it here, but I think it'll still have enough value, just because these guys have, like, Cleave. Yeah, we'll leave it on. I think it's not great on this floor, but it's good enough that we should keep it. Although, this is going to be a ton of damage on this floor, potentially. I'm actually going to leave it off for this floor, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, I might put it on the ninja. I can get like cleave weekend with like the copycat cantrip weekend. Pain and potential cantrip <laughs> is a little awkward with the ninja. I'm actually leaving this off here, because I think we can burst on the Kaw, we just want to survive the Fanatics. I think the Whisk get killed pretty quickly in our current setup. And just weakening these guys isn't that... Great, and, and the bar we can probably get some pretty big sides on this with all these enemies available to boost that blood loss. I'm actually not equipping it this fight, but I... I think it's good regardless. I'm happy to have it in the arsenal. It was just a weird fight for it. I think I take that and this. So this will generate four mana. Do I want you to do four damage pain? This could generate mana as well. Four is a kind of weak breakpoint for you. I'm gonna re-roll all of these. Do I keep this? I can do cleave or mana gain. I think we keep that. I can get focus as well. Focus mana gain actually. Although it won't be able to focus. Yeah, we're never gonna be able to use <laughs> focus on these. Because I only get focus from this, and this has to work on the last used die. Um, it has to copy, or focus has to copy their uh, same target. And this only gets used on allies, and this one only gets used on enemies, so that never works. Uh, okay, we hit... Okay, this turn uh, looks like it worked out. Um, so what are we doing here? Well, I can't kill the call with this. I only do six damage, but then they flee. Unless I do a double miasma, but that might not be worth it. Using mana to block is pretty good with all these fanatics. Blocking in general is pretty good. Blocking and healing. So I think the surgeon's gonna have her back pretty good here. Cleave can hit the caw, so I can actually cleave I can Barbarian the Kaw, cleave them, and then Miasma them to kill the Kaw this turn, which actually saves a lot of health. That feels pretty good. I don't like Inflict Pain on the Surgeon or the Sorcerer. Oh, we, we have to kill this Wisp. Pain on the Sorcerer is really bad. She'll kill herself with cantrips. So maybe I just leave the Kaw alive and just kill... Some Wisp. Um, oh, and I can heal the Barbarian with the Surgeon. 
If I do it like this. Do I want this to have mana gain? I guess so. Cleave doesn't do much here. Uh, actually, it could <laughs> with all this mana I have to spend. What am I doing with all this mana? This mana gain does put me in a good spot. This one's where the most likely to kill next turn. Generate mana there. I have enough mana left over to kill that Wisp, so maybe I should try killing the Ka. Well, no, wait, no, not if I use Miasma. And I use this on that one. Let me try that. That version of this again. I think it actually works. Oh, but I can't cleave, use this to cleave, and then use this for double. Which I think I want to do. We want to keep the Barbarian healed. Um, that double plus this mana gain does mean we get... More mana, though. kill this one. I'd rather kill both Wisps, but I don't want the Surge to have pain. Okay. Um, so what was that route again? You... Oops, I did not mean to undo that. I meant to hit burst. the call once, right? Makes him easier to kill next turn. No one's getting pain. Alright, we'll roll with this for now. Taking a lot of damage, which is kind of how fanatics roll. They really... These guys try to punish you for not having enough defense. Uh, really clever enemy design. Okay, this looks great, and this is why I didn't want to put pain on here. Because this would be a lot more problematic if it did have pain. So this kills the Kaw. I think it's a good idea. He's rolling his uh, growth side too, a second time in a row. Who's killing... We kill the Ka, and I need to try and kill both of these fanatics, or save these guys somehow. Because Cleave is pretty good to keep. Oh, we gotta reroll this with the 5 reroll. <laughs> Almost go. It's not quite infinite, but um, pretty strong. I think I want the mana here so I can get more damage on you, even though the sustain is pretty good. Reroll all of these. Uh, that's really good. Reroll that. Um, okay, I think I will have enough to kill both of these means Surgeon is the one taking the most damage here from you, but it's not killing you. Oh, I heal. I think I'm supposed to heal the Barbarian. Oh, this one doesn't quite die. Ok, 
Okay, so I need to keep the surgeon alive. Which we can barely do. Oh wait, just killing you would have kept the surgeon alive. Was the other play better? Give the barbarian five health to do more damage to this fanatic. I don't think it matters that much. Just leave this like this. Wait, I don't even need to burst you that much if you're killing yourself already. I can just do this. No one dies, we win. Okay. That's how we play it. I don't have to worry about trying to get rolls next turn or anything. Or 18, what is this Jinx doing? Frail edges, top and bottom heroes. If you have gained no shields this turn, times two to incoming damage. Uh, that's a little tricky because we only have one source of shields. So we'll see how that goes. Normally you plan around that when you have it as a curse all run. Uh, this looks like a fight that does benefit from the scorpion tail weekend, but let's see what our hero upgrade is first. We have the Fencer and the Granite. What floor are we on? Or 18. Do any of these look good with the Curse Bolt? Fencer gets two damage to all enemies on this, which is actually pretty nice. These last couple floors. Um, all of these sides do pretty well with the Guardians uh, boost here that we're, we have, when, but have rolled like one small run. Um, you have too low health, I don't think I end up putting Curse Bolt on you. Uh, it's pretty good in this fight, if you roll that. You do two damage to the snipers and Miasma can finish them before they get their attack. What does Granite look like? I like Granite's Repel. I wouldn't be using this. I don't have right sides that have pips, so the other thing doesn't matter. They could use, they'd probably get this again. I don't have mana sides. Oh, this middle side with Bloodlust is kind of interesting on this thing. I think it's it's too good on the Sorcerer. I could swap it between the two for certain floors, though. So I roll this and it's just doing like three damage because I like pinged two other enemies and I can just do like massive damage with that. It's like three damage to all. It's pretty good. Answer seems okay here, but not exciting. The Granite uh, feels somewhat solid. What are our other tier three oranges? Roulette, Dabalist, Sharp Shot. Honestly, most of these don't excite me too much. Fencer seems solid. They seem like a pretty decent one. They do a lot more reliable damage than the ninja. I can even give them the scorpion tail. It might work better for them. Except they don't have a lot of health. But giving the barbarian a few sides that don't kill himself when he's at low health is pretty nice. I'll take the fencer here. I think we could go either way with that one now. This lets me split the... the weaken across two targets, or only do two weaken. If I want to, this this feels pretty good. Having curse bolt with weaken is way too much. I don't think it even does. It, it's decent for this floor. Uh, I think that's where we're 
going with this floor. I like how everyone's set up, so let's jump in. Okay, these sides are showing with frail edges. So they're showing double the damage that they're actually taking. I think I should take this because I really need to roll armor. I can't risk not hitting armor. I feel like we want to hit pristine or one of these sides. So that means our only miss is the dodge, which isn't really even a miss here. So this is an easy reroll for me. Are we looking for mana here? I feel like I could do better here too, but I don't really want to hit Death. I think we're pretty good to reroll all of these. Okay, Weaken is great here. You can Weaken the Jinx and the Troll. What are you? You're giving me Frail Edges. That's right. Probably just take that. So you're taking eight damage total, so this will save you. We'll have to heal you with this or something. And the sorcerer gets saved just by me weakening both of these guys. This goes down to zero. I'm not rerolling this again. I'm just gonna take that. I will reroll this again. I'm pretty good with like, well, No. I think I need to keep this, keep the fencer healed. Actually, no, the fencer is good. I play this on them, they get four shield, and then that absorbs all of this, and they just take the sniper damage. That's fine. So I can afford to reroll this and look for mana or something. Which we got. I probably just do something like this. That looks like a pretty good turn. Okay, these guys don't have frail edges anymore, so they're actually just taking this much damage, which is worth noting. Um, this block, at the very least, saves the sorcerer, which feels pretty good. So we're killing a sniper as this top one. I take this, I can just Miasma twice, and this Sniper dies, which saves the Fencer. But I can also afford to reroll this, I think, and this as well. We'll just take, take all these. Oh yeah, this is a... I like this turn a lot. Um, so if I get you up to pristine with this, then this does six damage. It means I have to kill this sniper, which I can actually do with three miasmas. Oh, I, I think we win this turn. That helps this do more damage. Good stuff. Floor 19, let's go. Double Hydras, again, I told you this is like the most common 19 floor. We had this last time. Uh, choose an item. We have the Dolphin. Um, add Echo to all sides. Copies the value of the previously used dice. Uh, this is insane with the Barbarian, actually. Like, utterly insane. I think 
it's also potentially nuts on the sorcerer with the bloodlust. Uh, we don't have enough floors with like a ton of enemies for that to be a huge deal though. Pretty strong on the fencer. What's a collar do? Add copycat to the top and bottom sides. Double use mana gain is pretty good. And focus, that's actually insane. These could generate six mana when we use them. I think Dolphin is just insane with the Barbarian though. Like I'm not gonna even think too hard about this. I'm gonna grab Dolphin and probably throw him on Fencer. I don't think order matters here. The weaken on that is actually a little awkward when you have the dolphin. So he kills himself a lot of the time. But the pain side, or it's the pain, not the weaken, but the scorpion tail in general. So I think I move that back over here. This is pretty insane on the surgeon as well. Get these mana sides with like focus. Except I can only echo these and get focus when I'm playing, I can target uh, an ally. So it's only gonna work off of these, which aren't that high. I think these are just really good on the fencer right now. And then the sorcerer. Now you'd have to ditch this. And then a good bloodlust turn, you can get these pumped up pretty high, but it doesn't even look that good there. So we're gonna run with this. Curse pulled on anyone? No. I think we generate enough mana that clearing these guys out shouldn't be too bad in general, but it's nice to see what our options are here. Even not considering the lens, Echo on Surgeon with the Barbarian is kind of nutty. Can basically always counter out the pain <laughs> that the barbarian does to himself. And then sometimes I gain like nine mana. Or I get to use nine heal a second time. That's actually nuts. I'm actually gonna do this on a turn where damage itself probably doesn't matter quite that much. I mean with the amount of damage we can put out, we can do we can kill these hydras, I think, but I think this actually works pretty well here. In which case, I do put this back here. So for this fight in particular, I kind of like that better, and we'll reevaluate on the next one. Um, so this is one damage to both of you. Can I do 10 total damage? I'm gonna take that. Or 10 attacks, like damage instances to kill both of these Hydras on this turn. If I kill a single one, then we're fine. So I probably don't need this, and I probably would rather look for the double use. Eh, I think we can do it though. I'm gonna roll with this for now. Four, so I can make this four. Focus isn't that much. I can boost it with this to make this six. I wonder if this boost applies after the Echo. I think I'm re-rolling. Uh, do I keep this, actually? Very least, this boosts whatever I'm gonna try to Echo off of. I kind of want the Cleave, but I think I'll just take that. Just these re-rolls left. Uh, 
Uh, this turn's kind of whack so far. I just take that because I don't want to roll my death side. Okay, this actually ended up working really well. I can boost this, but then it becomes really deadly for me. I like the idea of doing this. Got him. The hand. So I was thinking about the hand before. They give plus one to all our heroes in return for, in turn for them being like, or I guess in exchange is what I was looking for, in, of them being like just insane. Um, this makes our sorcerer pretty nuts. Giving plus one to all our sorcerer sides, which is pretty cool. We want Dolphin for this one. Back on the Fencer, I think. Oh, I should see what our promotion is. Twin. Seeing Twin last is uh, probably would be my favorite place to see them because they really work best on taking advantage of items, to double up on items. I don't have anything that works well with them though. Give them both demon horns and echo. They work pretty good with echo if you want to block, but I think we need to kill this guy fast. So I don't like twin. Ooh, one thing that is good about Twin is it gives me a reliable place of <laughs> way to use focus on the Surgeon. Which Valkyrie only has three sides that let me focus with the Surgeon. Um, that's as many as the Guardian has. I'll take the Valkyrie. These Undying sides can be pretty damn helpful, especially with like, the Barbarian and stuff. The Valkyrie, give them the horn. You can give them four revive. I'll leave them with the damage instead of this. This is actually pretty strong with our build. So we generate a lot of mana, so I could like keep the Valkyrie alive and then replenish the mana when I roll this. Okay, I think I do want the Fencer to have this so we can just dish out a lot of damage in general by echoing the Barbarian sides. I think we end up doing better there than over here. Although over here is really defensive, which I do kind of like. Um, this is pretty defensive already with the focus and the additional pips. I'm going to leave this here. I think we're good to go. This is pretty intriguing too, but I'm not going to go with that. All right. And time. Let's go. Floor 20. This is... I think usually his nastiest side. All of his sides are pretty nasty. Actually, the four poison would be pretty bad for us to see turn one, two. Okay, I got six damage to echo onto double use. I'll take that. I also have the heal three boost. If I put that on Barbarian, this becomes nine damage. And then I can do double use of these for another 18. It's like 27 damage in a turn, which isn't good here. But nine damage helps me take out the sabers pretty quickly. I like that. A little awkward because if I get heal here, it doesn't let me do it before attacking with the barbarian. 
Let's run with that for now and see what happens. We're gonna reroll these. Uh, keep that. This double heal is actually perfect with the Barbarian right now. This heals for nine if I target the same person twice with it. Um, I think I'm good with this. We'll play this turn out real quick. Oh, I'm up to 10. Oh, because this had plus one base, of course. So these are doing 10. Then I either burst the sabers, or I can double my asthma. I think this is probably better because I'm probably not killing you next turn. Oh shoot, I got people dying here. Rescue would be a pretty clutch side on the Valkyrie to roll. I'm curious, if we play out this turn without using this, then... We just end up with a full health hand. I liked it better when you were taking like 13 damage. I have one roll. Yeah, I think we, we play it out the first way. Okay, but holy cow, <laughs> we're like in for hurting this turn. Dude, the hand is nasty. Like I could just, I think I could just lose this turn. <laughs> Ugh. Well, here's nine damage pain, which I could put undying on you. Double damage or pristine. Actually, with nine damage, like a double or pristine here, that's what, 27? Doesn't quite get me to a kill with you. How do we not just like lose this turn? I mean, if we keep the surgeon alive, then we can like operate some guys. I really could have used a breather with like the Petrify or Growth Side or something, but this side getting used, I mean, like I said, all their sides are bad, but this side, I've lost to him using this like two or three times in a row. Oh, and he has growth on it. He just grew. 
That sneaky, sneaky hand. Do I fish for the weak inside, actually? Weaken is actually kind of huge here. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe that's why I was supposed to take la look for last time, too. So I do think I need to play this a little more defensively on this turn, at least. I'm not killing him this turn no matter what, right? Like, best case scenario, I'm doing like 27 from these two. I need to find 10 more. Ah! It's only... Th Five bursts. We're actually like remarkably close to. And someone will be alive next turn to try and finish you off. Actually, are we guaranteed to win next turn if I put Undying on the Barbarian? Not necessarily guaranteed, but hmm. I think kind of trying to go all in on you instead of playing defensively actually is the way to go. Not fishing for a weekend there. There are three sides here that give us lots of damage. Do I, I think I need to play for focus here. Ooh, I am like really sketched out. <laughs> and Sorcerer is just blowing it right now on a turn where they cannot be blowing it. This side doesn't do much for me. It saves the Valkyrie. Probably really want mana? I don't know. I'm scared. Let's think for a second. This is 9 damage. I think these actually become 10. So I'm doing 29 damage to you. Which leaves you with 8 health. Barbarian will get a turn next turn, no matter what. Oops. I think I need to look for the mana, or I think the double heal is really good here too. Okay, this has to go on you. Oh, this was only nine. What was this ten last time? What did I do? I had pristine. I think I had pristine. Six health, three mana. Do we keep the barbarian and the sorcerer alive to close this thing out? I just need to find six damage next turn. Actually, does a fencer in the barbarian? They don't quite guarantee it. Three sides here that do it. Fencer. The lowest damage I can do is four, eight, unless I whiff on this. But then this would keep the fencer alive and I'll get another chance. I think keeping the fencer alive is how we survive this. Wait, you have six. Four health. You don't heal or anything, right? Barbarian is guaranteed to do 4 damage. I think we win on ties, on draws. I'm like 99% sure. So this is a guaranteed win at this point, right? I feel like we need to paste that real quick. Just to make sure we know the rules. Copy. Paste mode for science. Oh, the freaking wolf! 
Oh, can you imagine if I didn't paste this? Can you imagine if I did not paste this? <laughs> oh, the wolf. Frick. How do we deal with the wolf? <laughs> with this freaking curse, I knew it would come to kill us. Oh my gosh. I don't have rerolls left, so this is a. I can use Undying on two different people, but I think the Barbarian gives us the best chance of winning. <laughs> I can't believe that wolf. I'm so glad I pasted that. I, I did not remember there was going to be a freaking wolf coming. Well, me and Hand kill each other and the wolf wins the, <laughs> wins the run for the opponent. I keep the Surgeon alive, I can play Operate. Well, I would have to keep the Surgeon and the Sorcerer alive. Then Operate would bring back the Fencer. We'd still have to figure out how to kill the Hand and the Wolf. We'd probably be able to kill the Hand. Let me see what that looks like, actually. keep either of you alive. So we have an 8 damage hand and a wolf next turn. We would have to win next turn with whatever these guys roll. That's that's too much that's too much damage. I can't compete with that. There's too much uh health they have left. I'd have to find 14 damage, which would be like another 11 mana or something. I think the Barbarian has to stay alive here. Wait, you can stay alive with just... No, you can't because you're going to damage yourself. I can kill the Barbarian and play Operate this turn. Actually. And then I can save two people. This is a play I'm liking a lot better. Because now we're almost like guaranteed to roll something on the Barbarian that at least kills the wolf and then we do a bunch of damage to the hand and I just need a little bit more of a nudge from like the sorcerer to get there. Sorcerer has this good reroll side, which might give us some consistency. The only question is, we would rather have the Valkyrie next turn. I can actually roll, save everyone, which is actually kind of huge. What would we have? Fencer, Barbarian, Valkyrie. We need to do 10 damage and 6 damage. I don't think bringing people back next turn is good enough. Because if he rolls like three swords, I feel like we're in three swords, maybe growth or uh, poison. We'd only be bringing back two people. 
I don't I don't think that's the way to go, and that's not even that likely. But Undying would give Barbarian another chance. If I roll Undying and he rolls Swords, I think we lose. If I keep the Valkyrie alive. Um, this becomes pretty excellent. Because it helps the Barbarian kill the hand with three of his faces. And it gives one of the faces massive weaken, so the hand does nothing. And then it lets this guy copy with no matter what he rolls. Enough to kill the other thing. So that's two, uh, two sides here that are intriguing. This side wins. Sorcerer just feels more reliable to me, especially because of this side, but they can blank out here. If they hit anything but two X's three times in a row, I think we win with Sorcerer. All right, let me pull up my probability table. The stakes are too high here. You can find my probability table in the Description below, there's a link for it. So what are, what are we looking at? The fail condition with the sorcerer is two X's three times in a row, uh, which is actually not rolling. We want to see the odds of rolling anything but the X's on three rolls, which is four sides. So four target faces on three rolls is a 96.3% chance. So there's like a three to 4% chance that we lose. I think that has better odds than the Valkyrie needs to roll two sides. Yeah, okay, we're keeping the Sorcerer. I think Sorcerer, Barbarian, Fencer is the play here. But let me just take another quick look. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say quick, but another scan through what we've got going on here. Your focus really doesn't work unless the Valkyrie is in play too. Keep you alive, we can operate, but then whoever we operate on doesn't get an action next turn. I think that's what we're going with. 10 health, 7 health wolf. The worst I can do is 4, 4. And assuming we hit one of these, like 6. YOLO, let's go. Dude, he rolled this again. This is cheating. Um, but did we win already? I think we did. What a final floor. Now... <laughs> I don't like the hand because I feel like they're really high variance and swingy like that. Um, which is awkward for a game that kind of incentivizes like streaking and stuff. And we had a good build for the hand. Like our sorcerer is a good play for the hand. I guess barbarian's not amazing for the hand. Um, the uh, surgeon's good for the hand. Like. People that have dual use sides are pretty good. Fencer's okay, but not amazing. It doesn't even matter because I had Echo on them. But that like was such a close fight. Like there's so many ways we could have lost that. Especially if I didn't uh like have good items and like stuff going into it. There might have been a, an argument that I should have looked for a weekend on that first turn. And didn't um my sorcerer like whiff out on turn two or something pretty badly. I think she only rolled reroll on the first turn. <laughs> I'm so glad I pasted that to test the barbarian thing and saw that the there was still a wolf. Dude, how fitting would that be if this thing got me <laughs> at the very end there? Holy cow. Uh, we're on a streak of six now, which is kind of nuts. Um. It's not bad. People have been doing pretty good on the streaks. Uh, let's say failed.
Weird. Here's our end screen. A lot of undos there too, like our last run. Uh, I was going to say though, oh, here we go. We can see um, a lot of people have been getting higher streaks lately. And I think it's because a lot of players have been um, moving into unfair. This game's been getting a lot of visibility. I've been seeing like a lot of people streaking it or uh, not streaking it, streaming it. Uh, a lot of people streaming it have been going for streaks and stuff though. So um, it's cool to see more people playing on unfair because it felt like there was, there weren't a lot of people playing before. Which is hard to judge by this uh, this leaderboard, but the fact that there are a bunch of higher um, streak numbers here means that there's like a lot more people playing it, uh, which is cool. Just cool to see. I, like I feel like this board changed a lot in the past like two weeks, which we could probably see from one of my videos if I went back. Um, but that is it for me for now. That was a wild ending to a fun run. Um, interesting set of curses. I was really like scared going in. I hope our next run it gives me a. Uh, a set I can feel a little bit more <laughs> confident and like, uh, like less like terrified by throughout the beginning of the run and like throughout the end of it. Our last two curse sets were pretty brutal. I, I need something that'll help me uh, coast a little bit, be a little easier, which won't happen unfair. You won't coast, but I feel like I can do something a little more relaxed in the last two. But I will leave this here for now. Thank you all for hanging out with me here today and for this run. Um, that was a, another great win. A lot of fun there. Close as ever. Uh, before I sign off, I will uh, remind you all if you guys want to check out the links in the description below, you can find the slice and dice probability table I had referenced earlier. It's a great reference for this game. Uh, you can also find my Patreon if you want to support me and my work there. And you can find the Discord community if you want to check that out. A lot of people playing Slice and Dice there. A lot of other good stuff going on there. Uh, recruiting for a Barrow Trauma tr crew, if you guys know what game that is. So, um, if you want to apply for, uh, if you want to play Barrow Trauma, definitely join us there. And um, there's some other links in there too. You can check them out. But with that, I am signing off. Thank you all for hanging out today. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy, everyone.